Hey, yo, vampire survivors. Guess what? They did it. They did it. <laughs> they, they, they actually did it. The circle, they, the loop is closed. So it's really funny. I started showing that trailer to Paige this morning. Um, then it's just an animated trailer. And we're about 30 seconds in and she hears the Castlevania music and she goes, is this vampire survivors? Which like, yeah, no, that's, that's the, that's the thing. Like, yeah. like, like, did they do it? They did it. Everything went full circle of the moon. <laughs> yeah, man. So, uh, vampire survivors owed to Castlevania DLC. Uh, was announced today and like the fact that f***ing, like Ponkel can just release four dollar dlc forever <laughs> on this game so i haven't played uh the among us dlc or the contra dlc uh and i didn't beat the adventure mode what this means is there is now more content in vampire survivors than there was when I 100%ed the first two DLCs. Oh my god. I Like there's more content I haven't played than there was when I 100%ed the game every time a patch came out. So with all these build up of like it's like you know it's almost like a talk show or like a show where you're like hey you want to you're you're collaborating with all these others but you know who they want to get on the show but you're just like can we ever get them though you know and they're like we got tom hanks's brother oh <laughs> best friend that hung out that one time and the one that was on the stream that didn't say the n-word <laughs> and then you know and you go on and you go on and then they just kind of like yeah like they got oh they got among us they got the mother ah right they got castlevania the thing that they're ripping off and homaging and just the whole time you have it now, and they're like, what are they going to do now that they have the deal on the table? Well, the breakdown on Steam, because when you read it, they're just like, yeah, this thing is... They're like, this is not a one and sitting and done no, this, expansion. This is a new... This is Vampire Survivors 2. It has 40-plus weapons, 20-plus characters, 30-plus tracks, and one big castle. That is Vampire Survivors 2. That, that like... And straight up it is and like they they're like ever like the they're like um which uh which of the you know whip wielding protagonists would not show up in this type of celebration spoiler text none <laughs> everyone is here literally all everyone of everything is here. all of it so like i what this is so this is this is how like where we're at in media they said everyone is here and then they show the the thing of uh, the the you know the poster mm -hmm. right the and in that poster is like everyone that I would expect to be there, plus a bunch that I wouldn't. Like, oh, Julius, Ju Ooh. Uh, And then I'm watching it, and I'm like, is that fucking Jonathan Morris from Bloodlines? Oh my god, it is everyone. It actually is everyone. Now here is the rub. By including everyone, one must include Alucard. And who is a dom peer, as we all know. <laughs> yes. Half! We... A no, no, he's a dom peer. Half! <laughs> he is not a half vampire. He is a dom peer. Okay. Um, and what about Soma Cruz? He is a reincarnation. He is a regular person. Just happens to be a little magical. So the rule is not broken. The rule is not broken. There is no I, vampires anywhere in Vampire Survivor. I think... I think... Oh, my God. <laughs> that... I think if the game did feature a vampire, that this is the only time it would be appropriate for the non-vampire game to have the vampire, because it's the vampire. And it's not just... Mm -hmm. You like, could... Bram Stoker's of fucking Dracula. No, this is video games own fucking Dracula. The one your entire game was based on, if they wanted to, which we have so far not seen them do. But 
but there is a half vampire. That is not a half vampire. That is a Dom Pier. Pat, have you ever heard of the one drop rule? I have, but it doesn't apply for Alucard. It only applies for Blade. <laughs> How you doing, my Octoroon? But you in there though. But you in there. I can I can hang out in the daylight. Alucard is in there. Yeah. Alucard is in there. You can call it what you want to call it, but he's in there though. You can call it what you want to call it. <laughs> I'm not calling it nothing other than Dom Pier. <sighs> this conversation is causing Auto Mod to freak out. <laughs> I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're looking over here. I'm not. I'm not. Autobot is not having it. Okay. Well, I. I mean, you know, I don't know. Could he get his 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 uh his tax free card? Possibly. I imagine. That's a, that's a tough question. I don't know, man. I I think I think we have a half vampire in the game, but shit. All right. I don't see why we gotta. I don't see why we gotta. You know, erasure. This is vampire erasure, as far as I'm concerned. Isn't the purpose of vampires for them to be erased? <laughs> Aren't we supposed to erase vampires? I thought that's what we were doing, or merely survive. <clears throat> Listen, all right. This is not a. This is not an Uri Zen V situation. This is. It is vampire survivors being like the shittiest fakest looking game that's like a slot machine and like i have seen this happen like 10 times like you were one of them where you explain vampire survivors and people go, i don't know and then the jingle of the fucking coins and then you and then your uh, your face does what your face is doing right now you it's and just like over and over and over i have revealed it to many people and it's the moment you open the treasure box. That's and the dance. It's the it's the the as the as the bits go. You know, like that's it. It's the it's the it's all the good chemicals. Yep. Every good chemical. Um, I've watched that happen. The strongest, specifically in Vampire Survivors, with that moment, and I've watched it happen with Balatro. And I've shown my yeah, I, Altro, I yes. showed my cousin who like he, he plays cards and he doesn't he hasn't he hasn't game that much you know these days he used to back in the day and I showed him Balatro and he's just like okay so it's like video poker and I was like yeah yeah but you can do more you can like actually bend the rules and you can get special jokers and it kind of explained he's like okay okay you know and he did a couple and he's like mm hmm and then I was like okay now you see that right there now watch this you can turn that card also into a king so now hey look at that you got five of a kind and it will like tuk, 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 tuk. And it went, and then it lit on fire because the score was so high and it flew to the mm -hmm. side and it turned into cash. And he went, oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. This is bad, dude. This is bad. You can't be showing me this. <laughs> He's like, I got to work, man. I got kids, dude. Like, you can't be showing me this. <laughs> it was the moment like it all counted up and lit on fire and then cashed out. And I was like, yeah. The good button. The good We're button. We're using the power of addictive gambling for good. I mean, once you know about the button, you can't ignore it. You can't convince game developers to not press it. I cannot, but I cannot, like, fucking Vampire Survivors is such, it's so good, and it's such a good deal, and it's on sale? It's on sale right now. They know. How about it's twenty five percent off right now. Twenty five percent off of what? Of fucking <laughs> six bucks. <laughs> oh, okay, but now I get that. Now I get that Hollow Knight thing of like, no man, take money. Come on, don't yeah, be stupid. You could buy. Uh, hold on, this is Canadian dollar, so obviously Americans, you have to change it. But all the DLC plus the full game. Is fucking like eleven. It's like seven. It's like sixteen dollars. Like, yeah, I got eighty three hours out of the fucking base game, man. There's a point you hit with this type of shit where it's like, okay, Dev, you've made your point. Everyone appreciates it. Stop being a fucking monk, man. Please, I remember when this game cost. Please like a take dollar. some money. 
you you're Do you doing a good when job. Vampire survivors cost like a dollar, yes. like literally one dollar. And you looked at it and thought, oh, that's about right for this piece of shit. <laughs> and then you're like, oh my god, this is infinity fucking value. Like it looks like, like it's worth a dollar. Value. It looks like it's worth a dollar, so you go that checks out, and you find out very quickly that it's fucking so much better than that. And then he raised the price, the price, and he raised the price to like four bucks, and you were like. Who even gives a shit? <laughs> like, Man. oh my god. Um, so yeah, here comes the Castlevania DLC with just, just like, yeah, uh, again, a sequel's worth of content dropped in. And like so, all the new wep all the weapons are just like loving um references to all the shit that the, the characters do in the series. Every, you know, like it's all there and I you see the monsters you're going to be fighting as well. Like it's it's it is a full-on like, what if we made a Vampire Survivors game that was just Castlevania, but instead of making it its own game for Konami, we just made the game and then put it inside of our game? 